afternoon we're going to be doing cricket and we're going to be focusing on good line and length in bowling. Uh, the learning objectives for all the people taking part in the session will be all understand what good line and length is and how it's achieved. Most of the students will be able to understand what good line and length is. Uh, some success in executing the technique using position, action and timing. And some will understand what good line and length is, how and why it is an advantage to the bowler. Uh, and consistent execution of the correct technique again using position action timing. Uh, the main focus of the session is pupil led using uh, self and peer assessment as a teaching, teaching tool. went on through the drill, first it was a bit too long, then he rectified that and worked a bit short into the good area where it hit the wicket. Sometimes his, li his line was a bit uh, to the left, he was like over rotate, when he was like following through it would go too much and then it would cause the ball to move to the wrong side so it wouldn't hit the wicket and it might be uh, a wide ball within cricket. Okay, so referring to his action there, he said he was releasing the ball and it was going to the left, is there any way you can rectify that? I think he'd use his non-bowling arm to help aim where he's throwing the ball, so if you can use that to guide where it's going and to stop the over-rotation, okay. the ball doesn't go too far to the left. Okay, and you say his line was good, was yeah, that...? Yeah, improved, because first it was too far, he might release it a bit too early, but he changed that where he released it at a good time, so then it was hit in the right area, the green area of the marked bit, and it would be a good ball. Okay, so you suggest that, just his timing, just to yeah. release the ball a little bit uh, a little bit later, rather than yeah. too soon, the trajectory's wrong, okay. Any uh, peer assessment for, for Nathan for his bowling? Nathan had a similar problem with Dan was about when releasing the ball. So a lot of time the ball the trajectory was quite looped and quite slow. Okay. So he released the ball too early. If he's uh, released it just a bit later, it'd come a lot more quicker and faster. Okay. And the line would be better because hit the green area and it was more likely to hit the wicket instead of being too much and then say a batsman could hit it because it was too slow and looped. Okay, so you're referring to his action that he should follow through yeah. a little bit more and produce a little yeah. bit more speed on the ball. Yeah, a bit later. Okay. Otherwise, his line was good. It was quite in line. He used his uh, non-bowling arm to keep it straight. Okay. And not go too so that part of his action is yeah. good. Okay. Any timing issues? Uh, just again with the when releasing the ball uh, okay. a bit too early, that made it loop. But otherwise, he was quite good with his footwork and his um, getting a good line. <coughs>
So Stephen, we've just finished the magic box bowling test. Would you like to do some self-assessment? Yeah, so during my bowling, uh, I noticed myself that I was letting the ball go too early, which meant that it didn't go into the magic box and it went into the wall. Uh, I did that a couple of times and tried to correct it. Um, and then once I did correct it, I got nearer to the magic box and actually hit the wicket, which was very successful. Okay, so in, in relation to your positioning, were you actually releasing the ball before the crease or was it after? Um, I was releasing the ball way before the crease uh, and get my arm. My arm wasn't straight. Uh, I noticed my arm was to the side a bit more. Uh, okay. And that's what uh, made my throws uh, or my bowling uh, inaccurate. Also, so in relation to your, your action, um, in relation to your footwork, were you finding that you were rotating from closed, open, closed um, to gain some power? Or? Yeah, I, I was rotating a bit. Uh, I had my feet in the right positions, um, but I think it was ma mainly just the fact that I let go too early. I didn't have the rotation on the arm. Okay. It was more like a... More of a throw yeah. than an actual ball, okay. Yeah. So, in relation to the next time we do the task, in relation to your time, what do you think you need to work on to improve on the uh, trajectory of the ball? I need to time it, so I need to um, straighten my arm a bit more, uh, and then as soon as my foot hits the line, I need to be able to release as the ball's up there, so it's a downward motion. Okay. Instead of releasing it too early, and it doesn't even hit the ground, it hits straight to the wall. Okay. So, Karen, we've just completed the magic box bowling task. Would you like to give Stephen some feedback, please? hit the wicket a couple of times, but most of the time he missed. Uh, a couple of the problems that I saw was he didn't really hit the magic box much, then therefore the ball wouldn't hit and then hit the wicket. And also he was, his uh, line was quite wide again. Uh, he kept hitting it quite wide to the right of him. And so he'd, like when he released the ball within his hand, instead of following through and rotating in line with the wicket, using his uh, non-bowling arm to keep it straight, he wouldn't really use that as a guide, and then he'd let go, like say, around this area. Okay. And then he therefore, he wouldn't be in line with the wicket. So, which aspects of position, action, timing would you suggest that he needs to uh, focus on more? Uh, probably the timing. Timing. Uh, releasing the ball and his like rotation. In relation to his action, was his footwork appropriate to the open, closed, uh, yeah, open? Yeah, he had his, his, uh, say his left foot first was actually pointing towards the wicket, and okay. his other one was pointing away, so he had. The potential to rotate, okay. but then he still had a problem that he would just release too early and not get the full rotation. Okay, so working on the timing aspect yeah. of the delivery. Yeah. Okay, brilliant.